Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to Star Citizen. Uh, today is, uh, what is today? Uh, November 20th, uh, 2020, and that actually starts out, oh my gosh, what is this big monster? Um, this actually starts out the first day of the IAE, or Interplanetary Aerospace Expo. Why am I, gl oh, I'm glitching because my camera view is in the wrong place. Let's go uh, back to first person here. Um, yeah, today is <clears throat> November 20th, 2020, and the Aerospace Expo kicks off today as well as uh, one of usually only maybe two or th possibly three annual free fly events. And what that means is if you're not currently um, a, a pledge or backer of the game, um, it means you can actually jump in, you can create an account, and give the game a try absolutely free. Um, another really cool thing is you will be able to rent completely free all of the ships every day at the IAE Expo. And what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, we're going to take off, we're going to go over to the Expo Hall. We're not going to take off yet, because um, we're already here. But we're going <laughs> to... All the guys are still standing on the uh, the chairs there. Uh, we're going to go over here to the, uh, the, the Expo Halls, as you can see. Tobin Expo, Ce Expo Center, sorry. It's super early in the morning. Um, 20th of November to December 2nd. And we're going to go down here to the uh, the hypertubes. Now, if you are new to the game, you will want to tr to once you've created a character, uh, you will want to spawn on the planet of Microtech. Um, that will put you here, uh, exactly where I spawned from today. So you can you too can come and check out the expo. But I wanted to show you guys, um, you know what we're looking at. Um, how you know far the game has come, and we're also going to give the brand new Nomad uh, a little spin. We're going to check that ship out. Uh, it was just released um, today on November twentieth, and um, we're just going to have to kind of sit around and wait for the tram. Now, if you are having not created an, an account yet, uh, definitely go down into the video description. <clears throat> I will have links uh, as well as my referral code now when you create a new account uh please 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 use my referral code and uh that will grant you an extra 5,000 uec or alpha uec those are united earth credits uh which are basically the uh the money in the game and you'll get an extra 5,000 bucks essentially to spend in star citizen when you first start off so Look at this. Absolutely beautiful city of Microtech at night. <clears throat> I love it at night. It's just it's just so beautiful. It just looks so cool. <clears throat> this is the best tram in the game. I mean, I don't know. Area 18's flying trams are pretty cool, but... I still think, like, as far as the sensation of speed, this one is by far the best. All right, so we are arriving here at the Expo Center. Uh, you can tell because there's kind of a, a warmish glow, and all you have to do is follow the signs. It's really super easy. I'll use my sprint key. That'll get us there a little bit faster. <clears throat> All right, so this is kind of like the entry hall, and on either side we've got kind of like these two booths where you can purchase um, actual shirts that you can wear in the game. Uh, there are shirts for every different manufacturer. We've got Aegis, we've got RSI, shirts and hats, I should say, um, Anvil, uh, Argo, Astronaut, Astro Astronautics, yes. I almost said astronomics, which would have been incorrect. There's also a little kind of greetings entryway here, which is not 
you know, I don't, I don't even think you can interact with this guy. No. Um, on the other side, we've got Drake, Consolidated Outland, Crusader, um, Misk or Musashi Industries, um, and Consolidated. Let's see, did I mention Consolidated Outland? Oh, and Origin. Don't forget them. And again, just like the little IAE 2050 shirts, which you get to keep forever, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so we're just going to call an elevator, and we're going to go up to the only hall that's currently available, which is the Consolidated Outlands Hall, or the CO Hall. Now, um, later on this afternoon, we're actually going to get a second hall, and I don't have the schedule right in front of me. <laughs> So I don't know uh, precisely like which one is the the next one. I'll have to look, or I'll have to see if I can pull that up uh, during the episode here. Um, ooh, it's kind of taking us a while to get down there. If you guys are uh, regular watchers of my content, I'm sorry my voice is a little hoarse today. I've been having some uh, sinus issues, let's say, <laughs> to to keep it. Not so gross. <clears throat> oh, check out the uh, video. What? The video? Oh, no. Oh. This is a Grey Cat Rock commercial. This is really good. Just right. Oh, now she's rich. Or not. <laughs> That's so awesome. <clears throat> Remote or collect? You know what? I think this is the first time that I've that I've come to the realization that that's what that stands for. Okay, well that is really awesome. So you can see, I mean, this is just like, you know, like a, a like a major trade show. So again, we've got the you know first day is consolidated Outland. Um, we've got the uh, Argo uh, Mole, the Argo MPUV. Uh, cargo and personnel versions, as well as the, um, you can see up here, the uh, Mustang Beta Gamma, Alpha and Delta, and then the new arrival, which is going to be the Nomad. So, yeah, just checking out the main hall. We've got, uh, kind of over here, there's an armament gallery where we, you know, you can look and kind of check out a lot of the different armaments. Um, actually, over here, we have the attrition line. It looks to be the attrition line. Uh, yeah, you, I can barely see it, the attrition one repeater. And then we can see all the different sizes, one, two, three, four, five, and six, um, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, and then we, you know, you can check out <clears throat> some of the other, uh, it's kind of hard to see. What is this? The Yellow Jacket, GT210 Gatling, uh, and some of the other... Uh, ship weapons that are available in the verse. Now, turning around, we've got the like the Argo MPUVs, which are like these little, um, essentially shuttles. And like here's the cockpit, and you can actually get inside of them. You can uh, sometimes you can power them up, sometimes you cannot. Uh, okay, so this is the cargo variant. Hello. There is a jump seat over there. So if you need to take a passenger, but if we go over here to the other side, <clears throat> the other side, we actually have a personnel carrier and they basically just have like a, a different pod. The ship itself is the same. Hello. I didn't mean to do that. Let's close our Moby class. Uh, but yeah, this one actually has jump seats. So if you're wanting to transfer people ship to ship or maybe ship to a space station, um, you can do that. Now, these do not have jump drives, so you can't. <clears throat> what 
Well, I guess you could technically pilot it from the surface up to a space station or up to a ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry, guys. Sinus issues. Um, but yeah, you even though you could fly, it would take a long time. You wouldn't just be able to quantum jump up to the station. Um, we also have the Argo Mole, which is a crude mining vessel. And when I say crude, you'd actually have a crew of four minimum, or, or five. Um, but right now, really, four is the optimal number. You'd have a pilot up here at the top, and then you've got one, two, and then there's a third mining station. So this is a mining station. You can see the uh, mining laser here. <clears throat> there's another one right up there. There's You can see the tip of the mining center or the mining laser, sorry, and then the um, kind of like the little cockpit for the mining laser operator. Uh, we've got the the giant bags here, which are going to be... Eventually, they're supposed to be detachable, um, but that's where all of your ore is held, or the raw ore. And then we've got the other mining laser operating station right up there and the other mining laser so very cool um, we'll just take a really quick look here of the ship and I'm not whoa hello oh there we go <laughs> <Wrong>. <clears throat> the uh, the object container had not loaded in yet so you've got like components back here Actually, I'm not sure if these are accessible on this ship yet. Eventually, they will be. So there's different component lockers. This is kind of like the engineering section. Um, also, to either side, we have the doors, um, as well as a storage locker for a spacesuit, because these, uh, these chairs out here are not in a sealed um, environment. So you're actually going to be exposed to the elements. You will need to have the appropriate spacesuit uh, for the environment that you're operating in. So keep that in mind. Uh, next, we've got the ladder that goes up to the main deck. And as we step out, we've got kind of a little cafeteria area for the crew. To the left are the crew bunks, as well as some more storage on either side. Um, that almost looks like a shower, but I don't, I think it's just, yeah, why does it have drains on the bottom? Oh, maybe, maybe there will be some kind of a wash to wash all the mining dust off your stuff. Uh, but we've got four beds for your four-man crew, and then here's the actual, uh, shower and toilet. Shower head. Oh, can I, does this not work? Does the shower head not work? Oh, maybe it doesn't. The shower head will eventually probably come out of that, this little uh, square right here. Um, and then there should be a sink that pops out of the side too, but I don't think that's working yet. But it will eventually, probably once they get hygiene uh, put into the game. Uh, we've got the uh, all the machinery for the, I guess, processing of the ores. We've got a ladder down. I'm not going to go down there uh, in this episode. Because this isn't going to be too terribly long. But um, this is the ladder that goes down to the front and center mining location. And then we have the main bridge. So you've got the pilot and the co-pilot station. Co-pilot doesn't really have too much to do in Star Citizen right now. Other than just sit there and, and look cool. But eventually um, the co-pilots will have the ability to pilot the ship in some circumstances. Um, and then control ship systems. And then of course the pilot can fly the ship um, all of these uh, monitors unfortunately are not lit up right now but um, they would actually light up and have pertinent information and the di di the different multifunction displays will uh, display different information whether it's uh, power usage shields weapons um, target information uh, your ship's health information, just a, a whole variety of things. All right, so let's go down. And we're going to go downstairs now. 
and we're going to check out the, uh, well, we're, we're just going to see what's down there, because I'm not 100% sure. I know I looked at the map, but, you know, me having so few brain cells in my advanced age, um, <laughs> I am going to go down and, well, I've already forgotten. And plus, it's like, did I mention it's like super early in the morning? I just wanted to come in and do a quick video. Oh, yeah, we've got the Gray Cat um, Rovers. I think it's the SRV. No. What is this called? The PTV. Personal Transport Vehicle. It's basically kind of a little golf cart. Um, they're dirt cheap. You can pay cash for them or you can buy them in game. I just say buy them in game because uh, I think they're still only like 5,000 UEC, <laughs> which lo and behold is the same amount of money that you'll get if you use my referral code down in the video description. Um, but yeah, it's just basically like a little buggy that you can drive around. Um, it's very easy to load onto your ships if you have a ship that's capable of carrying vehicles. Uh, and then this is, yeah, this is the Gray Cat Rock. This is the uh, vehicle that we saw in the, uh, the little video there, kind of towards the beginning of the episode. And this is a, uh, a mining vehicle. So there's a little mining laser head on there, and it'll, uh, you know, pick up ore and stow it in the vehicle. Um, I also have one of these, definitely super awesome. I think these run like fifty-five or sixty dollars, something like that. And then let's see, let's go into the display hall really quick. Now this is where kind of ships that are maybe not currently being developed, or maybe they are in development but they have not yet been released, are uh, shown to us in a holographic sort of way and oh my gosh that's my that's my guy here <laughs> with my vandal mask um this is i think the pioneer the consolidated outlands pioneer this is actually going to be a kind of a oh like a settlement ship where you'll be able to land this and actually build it's going to contain everything that you'll need to build a settlement in the game um, no ETA whatsoever on when that's going to be available. And I think my camera is up just a little bit too high, so I'll bring that down. Um, but I would say, you know, they, they have started talking about, hello, settlements in the game a little bit in some of the, uh, the Star Citizen videos. But um, we still don't really have like a solid ETA. I'm hopefully expecting maybe within the next two years, so maybe by the end of 2022, um, we'll see that ship in the game, but who knows? It might be a while. And, uh, yeah, there it is, the Consolidated Outland. Focus is heavy construction, and, um, you can, uh, yeah, it has the self-contained mobile construction yard. Is capable of creating planetary modular structures. So, very super cool. Um, I think these sell for, like, $700 or $750, so they're not cheap, and they are limited, so keep that in mind. I don't think once the game goes live, you'll actually be, just be able to run out and buy those. And then you've got the Ar Argo. I think this is the SRV. Is this right? Yes, which is basically kind of like a search and rescue kind of a ship. Um, it's got tractor beams on the front, so it might be... Uh, might be something that you would want to use for salvage operations, um, ship towing, that kind of thing. Um, again, no ETA on when this is going to be available. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be in game uh, by now, but it's just, just not. Uh, I th think the cockpit. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't. That's right. I can't zoom in. Uh, the cockpit, I think, is kind of like in this area, though you can't really see it. I think, wait, whoa, 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 maybe not. Oh, no, the cockpit's up here. <laughs> I'm t thinking of the totally wrong ship. Okay, so, yeah, this is the cockpit up here. Which ship am I thinking of? Am I thinking of the, An I might be thinking of the Anvil Crucible. <clears throat> I just don't remember. All right, so let's head back upstairs. We'll go to the side hall, which is where our... Uh, the new Nomad is going to be located. We're going to look at that last. Uh, but before that, we will look at the various models of the Mustang Alpha. 
Now, there are two main starter packs in the game, uh, which are $45 each, <clears throat> and they either control, uh, control, they either contain the Aurora MR or the Mustang Alpha. And there's four different, I think four different main versions of the Mustang, the Alpha, Beta, uh, Delta, and Gamma, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to run over the water. I wonder if that, is that actually water? It is. Oh, these halls are so freaking awesome. And it, they, it even tells you, you are here. So yeah, Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Gamma. Did I get those right? I think I did. I don't know where the Charlie variant is. And let's see here. I I am not too familiar with these ships. Uh, let's see, this is the... Wait, which one is this? I don't want to enter the pilot seat. Okay, so this is the Gamma. I think this is kind of the more... Let's see here. Is this the fighter-oriented version? No, no, this is the racing uh, version. You can see the focus is racing. See, that's how much I know about the Mustangs. I don't own one. I think I have one on loaner for some reason, but I actually don't own one of these. Um, this might be the beta, which is this. Oh, yeah. We're going to come back. Looks like somebody's in there right now. We're going to come back and look at this one because I, of all the Mustangs, I think this one's the nicest one um, because it actually has kind of a little back section. Uh, let's see if we can get up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter the pilot seat. We can just climb right up. And then what we want to do, we don't want to just exit the seat like like we would normally do, but you would hold the F button and, let's see, wait a second, exit to rear, there we go. If we do that to the left, we'll actually get out of the ship. But this is the only Mustang, I believe, that has kind of a, a rear section <clears throat> where you can see this, <laughs> this, this is an actual player right here. Uh, it's got a little bed, um, a sink area, and I think there's even, yeah, a toilet and shower, which is kind of nice. Um, so it, this is kind of a, a better starter ship. With the bed, you can actually log out in the ship, uh, which is pretty cool. I wonder if I can just jump out here. Yay! Yes, I can. The downside to the uh, the 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 Mustang series is if you want to do delivery missions... Um, where you're actually delivering packages, you actually have to open up your ship like that and then throw the packages up into this back area. And it's really hit or miss, and sometimes it can cause the, the packages to glitch out and do all kinds of weird things, uh, which is kind of a downside because the ship is pretty darn cool looking. It's just that, you know, for those mission types early on in the game, it's not great. Um, there is, I think, a, a cargo bay back here that might contain a couple SCU... Um, I think this version has it. Maybe because this version has the beds and stuff, it might not. But I think it still does have, like, maybe two or three SCU of uh, cargo space. Oh, there's the new ship, but we don't want to see it yet. <laughs> Everybody's probably over there looking at it. Now, this one up here should be the Mustang Alpha. You can see they all kind of look the same. <clears throat> this is kind of your base. Yeah, this is the Alpha this is the basic starter ship, but yeah, if I zoom in here and look in the back, we don't have the doors back there. Uh, so you can't get in there and um, go to sleep. And uh, this is the one, it's $45. This will grant you access to Star Citizen. Uh, you'll have this basic ship and, you know, so you'll be able to do some of the basic fighter, you know, missions. Um, and very well really about that's just about it uh first person shooter missions you know where you can land somewhere and go take some guys out um and like i said if you're a really good shot if you get throwing down um you'll be able to just toss your actually no in this one this one's even worse because i forgot about this one the beta because you can turn around you can exit to the rear of your ship wait a second wait hold on I got to make sure I'm putting my money where my mouth is. We're going to climb up here. 
And I'm going to make absolutely sure I can't exit to the rear of this version. I don't think I can, though. But let's just look. Yeah, so I'm looking to the right. And the uh, canopy. Let's see if I... Yeah, exit ship. But yeah, if I go to the right here, I'm not getting... Let's see, what is this? Oh, that's just the weapon systems. All right. So yeah, we cannot exit to the rear on this ship. Which basically makes it impossible. So even if you did manage to throw a package up there, you're not going to be able to, you know, just swing around and get it easily, um, if at all. And then this one was the Delta. This one, I believe, is the fighter variant. Um, yeah, it's a light fighter. So if you want to read any of that information, just uh, check it out. <clears throat> but this, this one's basically a little bit... And when I say a little bit, I literally mean a little bit. A little bit more heavily armed. Um, I think it's got some missile pods or something. Those might be uh, chaff dispensers up there. Um, where are... Does this one have missiles? This might not even have missiles. If it does, it might only be a few. Um, now, you could probably um, take the uh, gun rack out and actually mount a missile pod there. But, yeah. And then I'm just trying to see if I can open up. These used to have, maybe, maybe this one doesn't have it since it's the fighter. Let's check out the alpha. Yeah, see here, here we have it. Pull to release cat. There we go. So here we've got um, some cargo rack. It looks like it's probably four SCU. So see, there's one, two, three. I would say that's four SCU or, or 400 units of cargo. Each SCU or standard cargo unit. Um, holds 100 units of whatever that cargo is. Now, can... Yeah, this one does not have that. Okay. So, let's move on to kind of the... Like, one of the more anticipated ships of the IAE. This is the straight-to-flyable Consolidated Outland Nomad. And if I can... Kind of go external here. We can kind of look at it from above and get kind of a overall view. We've got um, a cannon there on the chin. There's a uh, two cannons there up on the top. Um, very the ship is. A lot of people are comparing it to the Asp uh, from Elite Dangerous, but I think it's still quite different. But kind of a general shape is you know maybe fairly accurate and then in the back here we kind of have like kind of a pickup truck style bed um which we'll go ahead and you can jump on and your cargo is going to sit back here again this hold actually i don't even know if it's again i don't know even know if i've mentioned it yet uh holds 24 scu of cargo which is not bad for a $70 war bond ship or $80 standalone. Um, or if you're brand new, it's I think it's a uh, $90. I think the starter pack is 90 bucks. Now I now I need to like tab out of the game and actually look because I am not a hundred percent sure right off the top of my head and I, we're probably not getting any game sound so don't freak out but i'm just uh tabbed out because i wanted to check um yeah the nomad starter package for the iae uh war bond is indeed eighty dollars and that includes lifetime insurance so actually it's you know pretty good for that you know, for the size of ship that it is, uh, and the fact that you also get uh, LTI or lifetime insurance on it. Um, so in any, in that even makes a fairly decent LTI token as well. All right, so let's enter the ship. Uh, the ladders are all already down. Um, and it's really cool how the ladder folds up and deploys. Um, we've got a little window right here that you can look out the back. Um, some component storage. I think this is our power plant and quantum drive. And looks like somebody's already been in here to open it. Uh, we have the toilet. Whoa, that was weird. The toilet area here. And let's see, moving up front is the, uh, the bed and kind of the desk area. And we'll take a look at this once we get over to the spaceport. And of course, 
the cockpit and just look at that lighting. I tell you, the lighting in this game is absolutely beautiful. All right, so without further ado, let's head on over to the spaceport. We'll do that in real time. Um, I do like showing you guys how the game works in real time, especially if you're new uh, to Star Citizen um, and you decide to purchase a Nomad uh, as your starter ship, or even if you don't, there's a lot of... Uh, there, you know, there's definitely several, I won't say a lot, lot, but there are several really good starter packages uh, available. And if you have any questions whatsoever about those, please feel free to join my Discord. Uh, the link is down in the video description. Um, I will definitely be more than happy. Whoa, the frame rate's going down to 13 frames a second. Um, not sure what that was. Oh, I think it's that water effect back there in those little uh, reflect reflective pools um, might not be optimized <laughs> uh, to uh, what it should be. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm always really happy to talk Star Citizen on my Discord, um, you know, myself, uh, as well as some of the moderators there are very, very knowledgeable about star citizen and uh, we'll be happy to help you guys uh, but you know again if you're thinking about joining and you want to uh, create an account uh, for the free fly even if you don't intend to purchase it later on um, please 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 use my referral code uh, which is down in the video description and uh, you know when you create your account you got to do it when you create your account because if you don't um, it does nothing for me, but uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We're gonna head back to the ex, uh, the lobby, no, the expo lobby. Sorry, um, and actually, probably in several hours here. Well, no, I guess it's tomorrow. Uh, the what is it? The, I think it's gonna be Aegis is gonna be the next exhibitor. So then the way the the way the halls work is every. Every day there's going to be a new uh, exhibitor, so you'll have um, we'll have the consolidated outland hall through Sunday, I think at noon uh, Eastern time. I think it's noon. It might it might be a couple hours before, a couple hours later, um, and then that will switch over to whatever comes after Aegis. But the Aegis hall. Uh, will still be there as well. All right, let's go to the commons. So it's basically kind of the the um, the expo halls. There's two open at any one time. So day one is consolidated outland. Day two is uh, Aegis, and then you know so on and so forth. And then they kind of like leapfrog each other. So the on Sunday, the Consolidated Outlands Hall will close. The next one will open. That one will be open for two days. But then the Aegis will close on Monday, and then something else will replace that. And unfortunately, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the schedule right in front of me. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what that was. <laughs> So I think we're going to take a quick a quick jump over here to the commons. And I love how each hello, I love how each station kind of has its own color. So purple is the commons, um Blue is the Aspire Grand, which is where the apartments are. So if you spawn in New Babbage, you spawn at the Aspire Grand. Um, yellow is the Expo Hall. And then I think the Spaceport is kind of a, a almost a whitish color. I don't know. We'll find out here. So, oh, cool. The sun is, I think the sun is coming up, which is really good. So we're going to shoot out here to the spaceport, which is way out there. And the city of uh, New Babbage is off in the distance, moving away. Oh, I just love the graphics of this game. Oh, look at the forest. I mean, we can like go down there and explore through the trees. Of course, you know, being 
that this is an extremely cold planet, you need to make sure that you've got a nice heavy uh, undersuit on so that you don't freeze to death and die. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming in. Let's see what color this station is. Almost looks kind of greenish. I guess it is kind of like this... Almost like a turquoise color. Green, kind of. Alright, so we're going to run over here to the elevators. This will take us up to the main terminal. Hopefully, the elevators will work quickly. Knock on, knocking on wood here. I was having so many problems with uh, the game servers trying to record this episode for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if this is like the third, third or fourth try, uh, but I kept having like 30Ks and just all kinds of craziness. Um, my... Uh, Recording software crashed. I mean, it was just a nightmare. So hopefully you guys are still with me and uh, tagging along uh, as we run over to the spaceport. Well, we're at the spaceport, but yeah. And it's always nice coming up these stairs because you get a really nice view of the city across the icy lake there. So very, very cool. And... We're just going to come right over here and pull up our Nomad, um, which should be available. I'm not sure if it's going to be available for the entire, um, what, 10 or 12 days of the, uh, or maybe it's 13 days of the IAE this year. But, um, you know, jump in and jump on it while you can, because it's... You know, kind of nice to have, like, the free ships. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether you want to uh, rent them or what. Okay, so Hangar 3. Oh, and again, <clears throat> and I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. I think I did. But um, when you go around on the, on the show floor, you can rent all the ships for 48 hours absolutely free now there are ship rental kiosks available in the game normally um but you do have to pay but during the the expo you actually can do that and try out pretty much most if not all of the flyable ships um absolutely free so definitely do that take advantage of the uh the iae expo while you can, again, if you're brand new, you know, you can fly for free. All you have to do is just sign up for an account, download the game. It takes about 60, 65 gigabytes, and you're good to go. Okay, so here's the interior again. So it's got the bathroom here, little window out the back. So, but, but everything's, you know, lit up, and we can see it all really nicely now. Uh, very kind of alien architecture uh, for the inside. Oh, look at the textures on the wall there. Ah, look at those textures. Very nice. But yeah, now you can kind of see the interior here. We've got like a sink, a uh, little hot plate there for cooking, uh, some condiments there. M maybe like a microwave or... Wait. Wait. Wow, they, in, in like a thousand years, they still have microwaves. It's not really a thousand years. Uh, some supplements. Uh, there's a little chair that pulls out here. Can we actually sit? Oh, we can actually sit down in the chair. So we can sit down here, eat, all that good stuff. Let's see, can I? Oh, there we go. Rah, I've got my Vandal mask on. This is just a mask. I'm not really a Vandal. Um... And you've got a bed, so you can actually lie down and log out in the bed if you so choose. And then we've got some books and a little plant and a vase there. Another plant. Actually, that's a plant and a vase. This is... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead. Let's take her for a quick spin. 
Um, I do want to see if we can land and pick up a rover. Uh, see if we can get the gray cat rock on on the back here. So we're going to try to do that really quick. Shield power low. Uh, did I? Ah, oh, there we go. There's those bay doors opening for us. That is so freaking cool. And again, the ship kind of has this hover technology. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. And I think that, yeah, right down here, this building right down here should be where the hangers are, or the vehicle hangers. So let's kind of just go down here really quick. Whoa, don't hit a tree. Okay, and I'm gonna just shut the engines off here. And remember how I told you that we probably, whoops, that we should probably wear, actually, maybe I didn't tell you. Um, <laughs> we, what, what I need to do is switch over to a um a more thermally protective undersuit so we're going to switch to this guy hopefully our helmet will keep up with it if not we can swap the helmet the atmosphere here i believe is breathable so uh yeah so what i want to do i just want to climb down here um yeah we're going to be just fine with this helmet and I want to open this cargo bay. Now I want to see if the cargo bay comes all the way down to the ground. It appears that it does and we will likely not have any problems. So coming up here, we're going to we're going to go and get a vehicle. And I want to hopefully figure out where those vehicles are going to spawn and we'll just drive it up on the back of the uh, nomad give that a little test okay so we'll just go up to one of the vehicle retrieval consoles hello And oh gosh, my gray clad is some my gray cat is somewhere else. That's okay. We can file a claim for it really quick. And then we'll just pay the fee to make it instant. And come on, checking. Oh, I might have to exit out of this. Hold on. Yeah, gray cat rock stored. So we'll just retrieve that. Wait while your vehicle is being delivered to the platform. Someday would be nice. There we go. Garage number one. And I think, see how it says it's like 200 and something meters away. Our nomad's still there. There. I think what I can do is I can actually come over here. Yep, and go directly to the garage. So we can go back up to the ter the Inbis terminal, which is where uh, the, you know, the main part of the spaceport is. Planetary surface exit is where we are right now. And then we just warped right over to garage number one. We'll go ahead and enter the driver's seat. Hopefully we won't have the open and closing door issue like we sometimes have with the uh, gray cat rock but we'll see what happens here and nope looks like we're gonna have the problem uh let's go to comms and we will have to oh i already have a comms window there 
and we'll call up the spaceport to get <laughs> we'll get launch clearance even though we, yeah this is going to open and close um so we basically you do have to get launch clearance just to get out of the uh, hangar here This thing is really fun to drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, turn around and back this on board. Oh, come on, close up the door. Wait, can I go here? Yeah, close door. So that this is what it's supposed to look like when you're driving it around, when the door is not constantly opening and closing. But yeah, if you know, if you want to take your gray cat rock with you on a little mining expedition, uh, you can do it just like this. Okay, I'm gonna go and shut all the systems down. We're gonna get out. Okay, that's closed up. Now let's close the cargo bay. And basically that'll just raise up with the oh gosh with the gray cat there in the back and let's uh get back aboard the ship and i'm gonna fly around maybe we can get the uh, gray cat to fall off the back of the ship i don't really know but we'll see it's, it's still back there that's a good sign oh Oh, cool. There we go. So there you can kind of get an idea. Oh, there's somebody else with a gray cat out there. He probably had the same idea. He's probably like, ooh, somebody parked a, a ship out here. And so I'm going to try to, and then they were like, oh, no. Someone else. <laughs> Someone else got, got there before I did. I don't know. All right. So the gray cat rock is on the back there. We can roll, all kinds of fun stuff. And it actually flies surprisingly well. But look at that, even since we just took off, our high, we've already burnt 5% of our, our hydrogen fuel. So the fuel consumption on it right now is pretty high. See, we're already down to 94. Um, so hopefully they'll tweak that in the coming, um, you know weeks or months just to kind of get more range and a little bit more use out of uh out of this ship but yeah it's it's a it's an interesting looking ship and let's see let's put the landing gear up they just kind of fold right up into the body very cool and we don't want to crash here so let's let's fly away So yeah, that is the Consolidated Outland Nomad. And it is straight to flyable, you can, as you can see. Um, it's available for purchase right now. And um, might make for a decent starter ship. Very, very cool. And then, you know, you, we can go down here and maybe land somewhere. Let's see. Let's take our cruise control off, put our uh, landing gear back down. Woo! Oh, gosh. Oh. No, it was not complete. <laughs> there we go. That's a slightly better landing. All right. Engine's off. I always shut my engines off when I land. That way the ship doesn't do really wonky things. You know, if you leave your engines on and decide to get out. I've had that happen previously, so I just always shut them off now just to be safe. So, yeah, here we are. We've got our uh, our Nomad. Ooh, this might be a... 
This might be a good screenshot opportunity here. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, wait. Let's get it from the other side, which is slightly more lit. Maybe get Microtech in the background there. Very nice. All right. And then let's just uh, get the rock off here. See, th this is kind of the thing. You can you can transport the rock, and I'm actually not expecting to find any mineables on this little island. We would pro. Oh gosh. As you can see, the physics are sometimes not perfect in the game. But compared to what we've had previously, it's getting better all the time. All right, as long as we can get into the driver's seat, we'll, we'll be all right. Because <clears throat> we'll be able to power this up. And, oh no! Oh, come on. Why you gotta be, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, this is not looking promising. Oh, there we go. No, now it's working fine. I just had to, like, get back out of the... Oh my gosh. They really need to work on the uh, the Gray Cat Rock. Probably not the best rover to, uh, to show off, but, um, yeah, here's, like, this little... Who knows what this place is? Is it a research... Ooh, can I look in the window? What's going on in there? No, maybe not. Still, I mean, like... I mean, just the amount of detail. Uh-oh, we got some ground... Uh, to, oh, look at the... Oh, dude, we just... We were, like, drifting, so... Oh, that's so... That just feels so nice. Woohoo! Drifting! Oh, ha, 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 ha. We are totally drifting there. That is aw that is freaking fun. Wait. So I'm gonna try to do a, kind of a little episode here every day for the uh, the expo. And um, again, you know, if you want to give the game a try, use the link down in the video description. Use my referral code. Again, for the extra 5,000 in-game currency, uh, which is, you know, gives you a nice little head start there. And uh, join my Discord and come and fly with me. I really love showing the game off to new uh, players and, uh, you know, playing with uh, others as well. So this is just uh, one of the, f hopefully few, uh, one of at least two new ships that we know about that are uh, going to be flyable for the IAE. I don't know if there's going to be any other surprises. I haven't heard of any. Uh, but the Nomad and uh, what is the other one? The uh, MS or the Crusader Mercury Star Runner, uh, which I also own one of those. So very, very cool ship. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the verse. Um, Please subscribe for this and many more videos, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon. I'm Brad M73. Bye for now.